Okay, let's look at an incomplete dominance problem. So Spanish peppers come in three forms, red, orange, and yellow. When red is crossed with yellow, all offspring are orange. Interesting, so neither red nor yellow appears to be dominant or recessive, we get a third trait. That right off the bat, that third trait tells us there's some incomplete dominance. So we wanna, here's the first question. We want the phenotypic ratio of the offspring when a red is mated with an orange. As always, let's get our uh, problem started with our alleles. Actually, I wanna switch this color here. There we go. We'll say alleles and traits, because ultimately that's what alleles leads to are traits. So alleles slash traits. It's always the first place to start our problem solving. So we've got our red, we've got yellow, which then red and yellow were combined to create the third trait, orange. And we get that information out of the question. So once again, we do see that uh, we're seeing that red crossed with yellow creates orange. So therefore, this is incomplete dominance. And uh, what we can do is assign an allele like this. So color red, color red, uh, that'll be a red one. So we'll go C, you guessed it, Y. C, Y for yellow. So guess what the orange is going to be? It's when the red and yellow are together and they're mixing. And just like with the paint, when we mix red with yellow paint, we get orange. Same thing here in nature. After alleles, let's do our parents. Now it does look like there's a couple questions here. We'll deal with the first one. We're gonna have a red and we're gonna mate it with an orange. So the red is gonna be C, R, C, R. And we're gonna mate that with an orange, C, R, C, Y. Oh, well, now we can do our Punnett square. Once again, that pattern where we get our alleles figured out, we get our parents figured out, and we plug it all into our Punnett square. Do a quick drawing of a Punnett square here. Again, this parent is forming its gametes, its haploid sex cells. Gametes go on the side here. These other gametes from this second parent go on this side. C, R, C, Y. We'll combine those gametes. Here are all the potential offspring. Well, some of the offspring are gonna be red. We'll see what proportion, we'll fill out this Punnett square and see what the proportions are. Oh, another red. So it looks like it's 50% of the offspring are red and 50% are yellow. So I believe we've got one of our answers there, because after we do our Punnett square, we're ready to do answer. So let's come down here to answer. And indeed, the question, what is the phenotypic ratio of offspring when red is mated with orange? Well, I can write that over here. I'll fit it into an answer in a second. So we've got 50% of these offspring are red, and 50% are orange. Okay, continuing. So uh, looking over here, 50% of these offspring are gonna be red. Actually, I do want my pen to be in the dark color here. Uh, we'll just have a red R, really cool. And 50% of these are going to be orange. Now the question also wants to know the probability. What's the probability of getting a yellow pepper? Uh, in the F2 generation, when the orange pepper from the F1 is self-fertilized. Well, let's remind ourselves what we're talking about here. Here are the parents, so this is the P1 generation. The P1 generation are crossed, so this is the F1 generation. This is asking about the F2, which we don't know just yet. We're gonna have to make another Punnett square. F2 generation. Uh, when we're gonna do an orange to be self-fertilized. Oh, orange crossed by orange. Again, we wanna always know our parents. 
So to get that F2 generation, we're going to cross an orange or a CR, CY, with another CR, CY. That'll give us our F2 generation. We don't have our F2 generation yet. Got to make a Punnett square to get that F2 generation. Let's get these gametes out, CR, CY. Both parents are the same. It's going to be interesting to see what the offspring are. Pause the video at any moment and see if you can get it before I go over it. Alrighty, let's make the offspring. We're combining our gametes. We're going to get a red. We're going to get an orange. We're going to get another orange. Remember the question asked about what's the chance of yellow. So let's see Ooh, what's going to happen down here. Here we go, CY, CY, one quarter of those offspring are expected to be yellow. There we go, we've got both parts of our question answered. One quarter or 25% are going to be yellow. Oops. Okay, so we had a two-part question. Uh, first of all, we've got the offspring of the F1 generation. Fifty percent orange, fifty percent red. And lastly, the chance or probability, oops, we should use the word chance correctly. I'm going to see how to do an eraser here. This is going to be fun. Yeah. And back to my marker. Okay, there we go. The chance of yellow in F2 when orange is self fertilized. is 25%. Cool. There we go. Two-part question. Got our answers. Ultimately, it's that same procedure where we are identifying our alleles slash traits, figure out our parents, do our Punnett square, uh, and then this question did go a little bit deeper, asked, asked us about the F2 generation. So it's just remembering that, you know, the first group of parents are your P1. The P1 will create the filial or F1 generation. And F1 generation can be self-fertilized or cross-pollinated or combined with each other. And that's what we did here. We combined two orange and got some interesting results. Again, Punnett squares are incredibly powerful. They can help us predict the chance or the probability of getting different offspring. Okay, let's see what we learn next.